everybody, and welcome back to Minecore. This is episode 5, I believe. Yeah, this should be 5. Episode 5, and I'm all alone here today. Just me. Carl is up skiing. I would be with him, but I got a broken thumb, which actually isn't a broken thumb. It's a torn ligament now, I find out. And I have a splint on, which is way better than a cast, because it's much smaller and I can use my thumb still a bit. So it's not this big clunky thing. Anyways, um, today I decided I'd just record an episode. I know it's been a while, but I was I'm all alone here. I figured I might as well. So let's go down here. Um, thinking I'm gonna get a whole bunch of XP. Uh, last few digs we've been gathering stuff. I haven't fortuned it yet, so I thought I'd show you guys. See how much I get. Just grab a fortune pick. This one should be good. Alrighty. Just push the button, go right up here. Yeah. I uh, also got redstone in here. Okay. So. I'm gonna make a big, big old pyramid out of ores, and then mine it up with my fortune pick. See how much I get. I'll I'll fast forward it. It's actually Athetus' birthday today. We made him a nice birthday present here. He hasn't come on yet. I'll actually show you what's inside. One second. Real quick. Grab this. We just have Bowtastic. Nice bow there. We got some nice diamond boots. And we got best wishes here. Pretty much the best sword you can get besides looting three. I had looting three, then I have pretty much every single enchantment you can get on it. So that's that's pretty cool. Got that one nice to touch. Okay. Uh, I still gotta fix this villager thing. It's looking so ugly. I added more doors and so many villages in there. Yeah, I'm gonna take these doors down. Hopefully, sometime too soon. Never got around to it yet. We also finished that from last episode. So, I'm gonna make a big square right here and I'm just gonna fast forward it all. So, yeah. Enjoy. Okay, so there it is, my stack of ores, looking pretty cool. I started too small, I had to make it bigger, and I almost actually, almost perfect amount of materials. If I had three more of anything, I would have had a perfect pyramid, but I'm pretty impressed with how many I got, so make your guess is how much this fortune pick is going to give me, and then we'll see after I fast forward. I forgot the lapis, so I'm going to quick grab that as well.
yeah. Look at all that stuff. Just gorgeous. Okay, 22 diamonds, 16 emeralds, over 3 stacks of lapis, and then countless, countless coal and redstone to fill up this chest, so let's quick to account how much coal and redstone we did get, and I also got 38 XP. I can't remember what I started at, but I think it was around like 17, so that's pretty gnarly. 20 and 7 stacks of redstone 20 stacks and a 7 and then the coal is 17 and a 7 as well so that's nice and then 22 diamonds 16 emeralds and 3 stacks of why always 7? that's weird okay so that was that I'm gonna pick this all up Do a coal run first, and then I will put away the redstone. Yeah, I just had gathered up from the last few mining trips. We had been mining, me and Carl, with silk touches the last few times. It's way better because you can mine for much longer. Because as you can see, I came with only a couple stacks of blocks, and then I had like two inventory full of stuff by the time I had fortunate it all. So you can mine for much longer with a silk touch, and you also get stone cobblestone so I really like mining with this other touch just put all this stuff away let's go where they go nice I'm liking that over two stacks diamonds in there close to two stacks oh my god there's all this coal that all the way oops not the carrots not the carrots not coal Getting close to another stack of lapis blocks as well. And I'll just grab the redstone. And then we can do some do some other cool stuff. Yeah. Um I haven't been playing too much on Dearscraft and I was expecting survival to reset and I was kinda of saving all my ideas for that, but it doesn't look like it's gonna reset anytime soon, so hoping to get back to building on there again but I just don't really have too many ideas right now and the Anarchy series I also haven't done an episode on there either for a while because it's going really slow because we have like I don't know like 10 trees that we are constantly growing our thing and our whole base is out of wood which probably wasn't a smart idea and it's taken a long time just like cut trees because we're out in the middle of nowhere cut trees build a few blocks on the wall, cut trees, build some more. Oh, and there's the phone one minute. Right back. So, yeah, as I was saying, it's just, I don't know, it's been going really slow on Anarchy, but I will get back to that and maybe get, get back to doing episodes as soon as possible. I've also been finishing up the Let's Play series as well. I've been working on that. Last episode should be coming out right after this one. Oops. Yeah, and you should probably check it out. It's pretty good, I think. So, yeah, so 38 XP, I think I'll enchant something. Um, I think I'll enchant another pick just because I love them. Eh, yeah, I'll do a pick. Let's see, I need no armor as well. But I'll just, yeah, I'll just do a pick, anyways. I'll do my whole set of armor at the end farm. It's easier that way. Grab three. There we go. Okay. Let's see what I get. Open for zip touch. Zip touch or efficiency. Oh, I, I like those picks. Those are one of my favorite picks, actually. Super useful pick. A whole bunch of them. I don't need that anymore. This one's almost dead. I've got a new one for when it breaks. It keeps coming back on me. It's kind of, I think it's a bug. I need to fix it. Uh, I also have. I did like a while back a whole bunch of enchanting at the end farm. Didn't get too many real good enchantments, but 
Mm, there's a couple decent ones here. Like Feather Flying 4, that's nice. Anyways. Um, for today, I think I might do... I need to move our animals, because they're making Apatis lag a lot, because we have so many. I'm going to move the sheep into the mountain, but I need, I'm thinking of blowing up a cavern. So I think I might do that on this episode. I don't have too much TNT, but I think I got enough for a start. Oop. Yeah, that's see all this sandstone. I found actually three desert temples. One was looted, two weren't, and I I looted them up. I mean, I took all the sandstone, so two chests full of sandstone, pretty much. Pretty nice. Because we need tons of sandstone for like pretty much every build we have. Quick, make some more TNT here. Athetus is working on a dark room right now, so once he gets that set up, we can hopefully be getting a lot more gunpowder. Do some more cool stuff with TNT. There you go. Put this stuff away. I just need a bit of cobblestone to make some lovers, and I'm good to go. No drop on my head, buddy. So I'm thinking of putting the sheep and the animals in this mountain. digging a little bit. Just gonna set TNT up at different points. If I find a couple of these and get out of here. Oh. Oh, man. I don't think it all blew up. Whoa. Okay. That was perfect. I didn't expect it to do that much. Wow. Oh, and this is goes right to our horrible XP farm. Which I don't care that I blew it up, but... I'll close it up for now anyways. We never use it. I really should just destroy it. But wow, I'm impressed how much that did. That is some strategic placement. Happy with that. This will be good. Let's close that all up. Okay, now we gotta light this all up. Wow, that blew a big, big area. And I didn't open up any of the walls, that's perfect. Very nice. Loving this. Ah, oh, the joys of TNT. Yes. Get hardly anything, actually. Not even a stack. Of, oh, yeah, pretty much just a stack of cobble from all that huge cavern. Alright, and I think we are out of time. That'll probably do it for the episode. Um, I think it was a good episode. Got a lot done. Next time we can actually build the sheep farm and stuff in here. But until next time. Uh, uh, until next time. Uh, the words fail me. Until next time. See you guys later.